Hello everyone on YouTube. This is your boy Kyoma Sorokoff Johnson. Um, excuse the hair and beard right now. I need a haircut. But anyway, this is another little how-to video. Just something real simple to do to the Scion FRS. I have the 2014 Scion FRS in Ultramarine. And today what we're going to do we're going to be changing the parking light from this orange to um halogen 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 nitro white there we go that's a tongue twister um i've already done it on one side of the car just to see how easy it is i knew it was going to be simple but this is a little test run so now i'm going to show you how to do it on this side and the only thing you'll need for this will be flathead screwdriver and a Phillips go ahead and switch this out now because you're gonna actually use the Phillips first um, in order to get to it you need to turn your wheel all the way um, and either it depends on which side of the car the side we're going to be doing is the uh, driver's side, so the wheel is turned all the way to the right. And that's so we can get to, I don't know if you can see it, there we go, these clamps here. Sorry about turning the camera right there, had to get that in there. Yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing. And we'll go ahead and start now. One thing to remember when taking off clamps, always put them in a spot where you're not going to lose them. I can't tell you how many, how many clamps I've lost before with previous cars. So I always remember to do that. Oh, in order to take off these clamps down here, Actually, let me turn the camera to make sure I can see. Okay, to take off these clamps down here, you're going to put the Phillips in, give it a little bit of a half turn, it's gonna pop out, and then you pretty much just take your finger and pull it out. That's a clamp right there. As you can see, it has a part right there on the top that you just put the Phillips right in. And there are three of them here. This one's a little tricky. It's got all kinds of dirt and grime in this one. It's been a little. Tell you what, I'm gonna just go ahead and like try to pry it out a little bit. Of course, this will happen while I'm like recording a video. <laughs> Sometimes you just can't get a break. Did I just do that? Yes, I did. So that was a bad idea, because now I think I broke the clamp. Someone's going to comment on this video and go, you are an idiot. And you know what? I'm going to agree. <laughs> uh, whatever. I'm going to just move on ahead for now. And you come up here, pretty much just... Where's the flathead in here that pops right out? That's real easy. Then you just begin to 
move this back. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and just break this clamp and I'll just order a new one. Why? Because Yeah, I don't, I'm, I'll do that later. Oh, actually, you kind of don't even need that off. Oh, there we go. Now it's off. As you can see why I broke it right there. But anyway, um, don't even have the bulb in my hand. So I ordered the bulb off of CarID.com. This is the actual bulb right here. See, mini halogen, night, oh, night white, sorry. I say nitrogen, something like that. It is a 7443. That is the um lamp bulb, and it's by P Puko? Puko? I'm pretty sure I butchered that, um, but whatever. We're just going to go ahead and put this right in. Now, in order to get the... Bring this closer. In order to get the parking um, lamp out, oh. oh my bulbs that fell out. You have to actually. This is it right here. And what you do, you turn uh, counterclockwise. So to also to um, to the left. Then you just pull out, and it comes out right there. Pretty much just wiggle it a little bit, come straight out. Then you put the new bulb in, just fits in just like that. I'm going to test it real fast. There we go. Comes right on. Then it's just a matter of putting the bulb right back in. If I can find a hole. Yes, there's a joke in there. Then you're going to turn it clockwise to the right. Make sure it's nice and secured in there. And that's it. So now, my parking lamps are both going to be natural white. I'll put up like a little picture or video or something like that to actually show them and I did it because these are the um, night white as well the reason why I didn't put HIDs is because I don't really care about having HIDs or anything like that like it's I, I don't care I just didn't want that dull light on my car and then as you know from other videos my fog lights are red and I also changed the side marking lights on my, um, well, I just changed out my side markers and lights. So with that being said, I didn't like that, um, amber color in there from the, uh, factory. So I just wanted to change that out. The balls are like 20 bucks on carid.com. I know, why did you order off of there? Since... I had accidentally broke my side marker. Well, this side marker when I was installing it, I figured why not just go ahead and order a new one. So when I decided to go ahead and order a new one, I just said, you know, I'm just going to order that to you. Um, but the but those bulbs came in. The side marker should be coming in in like a day or two. Oh, wasn't even looking at me in like a day or two. But yeah, so. That's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed the video and you stay classy. Have a good day.